Hello, Hogan friends. I'm glad I get to talk to you today. We're gonna to read a book today, and it's called The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. So on the cover, I see an animal. Does anyone know what that animal is called? It starts with an R. An R makes the R sound. This is a raccoon. So let's read about The Kissing Hand. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please can I stay home with you? Have you guys ever felt like that when you don't feel like going to school and you'd rather stay home with mom or your family? And it's okay to feel like that, but Let's see how maybe um, Chester Raccoon feels better. Let's see what mom says. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we have to do things that we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first, but you will love school once you start. So I know that a lot of you were kind of nervous about coming to school when we started, but I know you guys really like school now. You'll make new friends and play with new toys. It looks like they might be playing in a sandbox with some trucks. Read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will help your, make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. So do we go to school at night? Mm -mm, we go to school during the day and then we go home at night but raccoons are what's called nocturnal. Can you guys say nocturnal? Nocturnal means that raccoons sleep during the day at home and then they wake up during the night and that's when they are active. So this raccoon goes to school at night. Chester wiped, wiped his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? I think he's interested or curious, means you want to know more. A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester, what's that? I'm curious too, I want to learn more about what the kissing hand is. I'll show you, Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush, rush from his hand all the way up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with special warmth. So that's very sweet. She gave him a kiss on the hand and he felt loved by his mom. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, mom loves me and mom loves you. Mom loves you, mom loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill, your to fill with toasty warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I'll promise I promise the kiss will stick. So she's kind of joking that the kiss will be lost, but I don't think he'll lose the kiss. Chester loved his kissing hand, and now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. And look, does it look like he might be having some fun at school? I think so. That night, Chester stood in front of the school and looked thoughtful. That means he's thinking about things in your brain. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. What do you guys think he's going to do with mom's hand? Let's see what happens. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers. Familiar means that it's something you've seen before. It's something that you know about. So he unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed her on the center of her hand, so he gave her a kiss too. 
Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her, and with a gentle goodbye and an I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb. Do you guys remember what part of the tree a limb is? Just like we have limbs in our arms, we learned about in class that trees have limbs. These are the branches or limbs. As he, as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. So I think even the mom was a little sad that she had to, she had to send her, her son to school because she loves him and misses him just like he misses and loves her. But it looks like they're all learning some really cool things at school. I love you. Awesome. So Hogan, hopefully we all get to go back to school pretty soon. Maybe in a couple weeks. We have a little bit longer. But when you go back to school, know that it's okay. And even if you're not with mom or your family members like you are now, how you're at home most of the day, you will have a great time at school and your family always loves you and you can always remember that. So maybe think about doing a kissing hand with your family and then you will always remember them and have them in your hearts in a special place. So Hogan, I hope we get to go back to school really soon and I hope you guys, I get to see you guys soon, but I'm glad we could read this book together today and I miss you and I love you. Bye-bye.